Hi, this is Bob Riley from EasyPie WordPress Solutions, and today I'm going to be talking briefly about the LeadWatch plugin. Um, LeadWatch basically tracks everybody who's going on to your site. It tracks their history. It tracks everything they're doing. Um, it does things like uh, lead scoring. Uh, it helps you find valuable visitors. Um, it has uh, a real-time monitor that will tell you who's on your site at this very moment and what they're doing. Um, it will allow you to gather together prospects, leads, and customers into different lists uh, based on uh, what you know your your investigation and what their behavior is, and then it allows you to export those lists into things like um, uh, into an uh, like a comma-separated value file, so you can import them into other programs like Mailchimp. So I'm just going to give you a real quick overview of uh, you know, some scenarios and how you would use it. I'm going to be using uh, the EasyPy website to, to do this. Okay, so here we are on the EasyPy website. And basically, I want to show you how to measure how engaged users are in important activities on the site. Um, so for this particular one, you'll notice as you scroll down that I have this little pop-up that comes up that advertises coming soon pro and so one thing I'm interested in is I want to know who is check clicking on this link here so when they click on the link you notice it goes to this little landing page it talks about coming soon pro so I'm first of all I'm interested in seeing who's clicking here and then also I'm interested in you know also who's going ahead and clicking through to the final um, landing page where they'd actually go out and purchase coming soon pro and so I'll show you how to do that real quick here. Okay, here we are on the admin panel of EasyPie. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, I'll give you a quick overview of the different screens in LeadWatch, and then I'll show you how to monitor those things we were talking about. LeadWatch has different uh, areas, the first of which is the dashboard. Um, the dashboard has three different tabs. Um, the first tab uh, shows people and it's it's people that are the top scoring people on your website and by scoring uh, I'll give you a quick overview of that is um, scoring allows you to identify the most important parts of your site from your from your perspective from your business's perspective and so that allows you to know who what people are engaged in those most important activities so you see right here that I on my prospects I have a prospect that has 43 points uh, I'll explain in a minute what what that means and then you have various other prospects that are doing different things and then I have a couple leads that have, were engaged in the site as well um, uh, going on to the next page um, <clears throat> this one the next uh, tab allows you to take a look at the site as you know the overall site activity based on um, you know the number of prospects leads and customers and uh, you know the, the top traffic sources the top forms that were submitted and uh, the top what I call user events and I'll explain to you what those are in a moment and by the way if you were to click any of these numbers it would bring up a list of the actual people who did that so for instance if I click here on this contact form it shows that this person Ivana Mueller uh, filled out that contact form and so basically um, that gives you a quick overview of who has been interacting with your site in what way and then we also have this real-time monitor and this shows who has been interacting with your site and what they've been doing at the, within the last five minutes and you'll see this changing if you just you know keep this up for a while you'll notice different people popping in and out doing different things um, going on to the contacts list this allows you to see basically everybody who has visited your site, both pro, you know, prospects, which are anonymous people that have never submitted any information to you, um, leads, and those people are um, individuals who have submitted some sort of contact information from you, and we can identify them, and purchase or uh, customers who have basically made a WooCommerce purchase at least one time, and. Um, Another note about this <clears throat> contact list is it allows you to do some advanced filtering here. It allows you to say, 
show me only the people either you know not just who are prospects leads and customers but basically who have tr done different things who have submitted um, who have logged in before who have made a purchase who have um, submitted a form who have um, participated in in various user events and so it, and it, not to mention it tells you you know you can filter just even based on when those are things have occurred so it, it lets you you know really drill down into finding out who's doing what and what they were doing and so um, <clears throat> second tab here we have our lists these are basically static lists of contacts and uh, um, basically uh, it allows you to manually add people to lists from the contact list and uh, you know basically people that you want to observe um, over time or just people that you want to collect together and then eventually export to a mailing program like MailChimp as I mentioned. Um, going on to the next pay, uh, tab is intelligence and I'll come back to this in a moment because this is the one of real interest. Um, and we have the settings tab and this allows you to do various settings and uh, I'll get into that. Uh, I won't get into the details of that in this video but then we also have the support um, tab as well. So let's go back real quick to intelligence and <clears throat> intelligence allows you to monitor particulars about what people have been doing on your site. Uh, for instance, what buttons they've been clicking, what elements they've been clicking, um, various links. Um, that's what click triggers are for. Uh, and we have page triggers. Those allow you to say, you know, I want to know who has been clicking on particular pages or particular or pages uh, with particular tags on them or, uh, or in certain categories. Um, user events are the things that are actually being generated when people are doing this, these clicking and moving around your site. Um, and I'll get into scoring in a moment, but let's look at real quick. Let's look at the uh, click triggers uh, area. Um, as I mentioned, I wanted to see when people were clicking on that um, pop up on my box on my site. And so I've set up something that will allow me to know when they're clicking on that. Basically, I in the click trigger, I say I want a particular user event called uh, get the CS Pro scroll box. And I identify this event as um, I identify what they're clicking on with this particular bit of text here. And this looks a little strange to some of you, but basically, it's um, it's not very difficult at all. Um, it's a um, it's a jQuery selector, and a jQuery selector basically is a way that you can identify anything on your site that can be. Um, clicked or interacted with. It's a way of identifying HTML elements. And so basically what this says is I want to know when the element with this ID, that's what the, um, the, the pound sign means, but when the element with this ID of get coming pro soon link is clicked, then I want you to trigger this event. And so basically when I have this set up, whenever anybody clicks on that scroll box, they will automatically create this event which then will allow me to see see them back on this uh, on the dashboard for instance that's one place where I can see it I'll show you so I have this get CS Pro scroll box event and you notice that there's one person since I set this up that has clicked on it and so if even if I come back to this uh, dashboard well actually it's me <laughs> um, I, I just set it up uh, uh, within the last day, so that's not surprising. But anyway, you see what you see the concept of it that um, you can set this up um, to basically say I want to monitor certain things for being clicked, and then when they are clicked, I want the uh, uh, a user event to be generated for that. And so um, you can do that for anything. And in notice now here, I also have. Uh, I'm monitoring the click for not only when they were clicking the scroll box, but for when they click through to that final page. Um, I'll show you over here. When they when they click through to the final um, landing page. So we have this. And see, now we're on the landing page, and I basically want to know when that people have clicked there. And you might say, well, what is this? What is this post 653A? That basically, just to give you an up, a heads up on that, 
you notice this post right here is called it's in the ID post 653 and so we have that's what the um, that's what the, the pound sign 653 means and then the A means it's an anchor tag within that and so we have an anchor tag right here that if I were to click of this you it would generate the seed prod coming soon pro and so basically just like I had with this this will now it, when any any time anybody is coming over here and clicking I will know who did that and what actually what their whole history is because I can see um, when I bring up a um, a contact for instance and I'll show you real quick I'll bring up myself you see when you bring up a contact you have a full list of everything they've done and so you see that I was I could click this here's that user event from earlier and I um, so basically you'll be able to see this with normal users you'll be able to see where they where they originally came from what they were doing and then actually what user events um, they generated and so this can be incredibly helpful in um, both tweaking your site to see how people are interacting with it but then also just to find out individual information about individual people so then you know how to best engage them um, so that is um, quick overview of click triggers and I'll go real quick I'll tell you I'll show you what the page trigger is and the page triggers basically allow you to map particular pages or pages with that have been tagged or are in certain categories um, to users user events just like the click triggers said whoever's clicking on these uh, elements I want the, this user event to be uh, activated well, for page triggers, it says whoever goes to a particular page, I want you to um, do that uh, to also generate the uh, user event. And I'll show you actually. I'll create one just to just to give an example. So let's say that we um, want to create a new user event here. Or okay, here, I'll do some something that makes it a little bit more coming soon. Let's say coming soon pro page pro related so this is going to be basically things that are related to coming soon page pro um, this is how much uh, you know I'd mentioned about scoring earlier that this basically says how, how many points if this person triggers this event how many points is this worth to them or worth to you I should say um, so let's say that if they were to go to any of these pages I want to give that 20 points um, so basically there we have that has now been created and now I can either select multiple pages this way or I can select um, various post IDs or I can put in a relative URL I, I misspoke a little bit earlier um, the uh, tags and in, in categories concepts are, uh, are on the latest version it's still under development um, so that's not in here yet but it will be look for that to come out in the future uh, for this version of the page triggers it allows you to um, either a enter a comma separated list of post IDs a relative URL or just uh, you can manually select uh, pages that way um, and I mentioned <clears throat> these are the user events that are being uh, generated by the triggers and you see that they have different worths already set up we also have scoring um, besides the worths of the user events um, the default events also have scores that you can calculate or that you can track so anytime right now by default if anybody submits any form they basically get um, 20 points um, given to them if they log in that's nothing page views are one purchases are 70 you know I just kind of guesstimated what a how relatively important they are in terms of being uh, customers or people that are engaged in your site and basically after you set up all of these and let's say you've tweaked different numbers uh, if you, you can if you just were to save them all save right now uh, the scores would remain the same um, people's scores would remain the same so in order to make sure that you um, uh, that they are reflective of the latest worths that you've you've, you've uh, set make sure that you uh, set the uh, press the recalculate all so I hoped this wasn't too much. Uh, I tried to give an overview of the best that I could without getting into too many of the details, trying to give you an overview of, um, you know, of how useful this plugin can potentially be once you start digging into it and once you um, get creative on how you want to use it on your site. 
Um, if if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me. I'm at bob at easypywp.com. You can stop by the site, bob at or I'm sorry, at easypywp.com. And um, you know, I'm always looking for suggestions, and I hope you really enjoy using it.